All right, the tail of the tape, we got Muhammad Owen, one age, 22, height 5'11, reach 74, coming in at 180 pounds. The debut for Caleb, age 22, 6'3, height reach 76, so a two inch reach advantage, weight of 179. Should be an absolute banger here at Island Fight 79 in the boxing square circle. Guys, Pearl, look at both of these men coming into the same weight. <laughs> Look at their legs, absolutely different type of uh, arrangements of weight coming from these two fighters. It, it is, it's, it, the other thing is the demeanor between the two. One is over here, he's composed, he's having fun, he's taking in the moment, the other one is dead staring at right. him. Right. Hasn't turned, hasn't looked away from him. Yeah, literally one was taking a selfie. Yeah, that's what I mean. And Pretty he, wild. Sometimes you gotta, you have to fight that way. You have to take in the moment and just have fun. At the end of the day, this is something you love to do, you know. And I've been on both both sides where I've taken it very seriously. And you have to be at some some of these fights, right? Sure. Some of these camps. Right. But I've also the more that I've allowed myself to enjoy the moment, the better I perform. Oh, big right hand followed by a left hook. The left hook did not land. <laughs> Very, very awkward with uh, Muhammad. Very, oh, nice little left there by Muhammad. Muhammad is doing a great job, though, of establishing his range. When the, it looks awkward, and yes, he's playing a little bit of showmanship, but when he posts his arm out there, he's really finding his range. He's finding the distance between him and his opponent and where he needs to be. Probably more important, Pearl. Give me a uh, grade on the braids. Give me a braid on the dreads. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. I can barely see them. They look good. I think I like his old outfit. I like the white shoes. Okay. You know, I like white. Um, yes, yes. And in bright colors. I think they both, these both of these guys look good. Okay, okay. Caleb Hose is Ooh. very, very, very focused, but he's got to stay long. He seems to be the longer, lengthier. Uh, fighter here, he's got to utilize that and throw his right here. He should be throwing jabs. Yeah, he's I in agree. range. He's I in agree. range. Why waste it? Just pop that jab out. He's giving Muhammad the opportunity to come inside like that and land these big haymakers. Someone's bleeding. It must have been a headbutt. Yeah, it looks like a sh accidental headbutt uh. there. Oh, end of the round. Oh. He got taken down and <laughs> side mounted and full mounted because he was playing with me with his jab. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I had to let him know. <laughs> you might work me in boxing, but. Uh, there you go. There's that uh, jab we were talking about. That's uh, what you need. You got to stay long. Look, he's throwing these big haymakers. You can't let him get in tight. And what Muhammad's doing a great job is watch the break. Watch what he does when he breaks here. Look. Boom. Lands. Three punches. Lands. Yep. Yeah, Muhammad definitely has a little nugget over his left eye. Yeah, nice jab. See, that's that's what he's got to do is stay long like that. Yeah, Caleb is humongous. Yeah, he's long. So long. Look, and why lean. is he here? There's no reason when you have this much of an advantage in height and distance that you should be in tight with, an, with a smaller and shorter opponent. I don't know if he's smaller, but shorter opponent. Definitely better head movement so far in round two, I think, for Caleb. Yes. Both of these gentlemen, now they're getting both settled. They've both been hit with some decent shots. The fight's here. No more feeling out. Now let's get to work. But again, why are we tight? Why are we tight here when, when we've got, you know, a longer fighter? And that's something that Caleb is going to have to work on when he goes home is, is establishing and maintaining his distance. Great coaching by Kate over there. Oh, nice shot there by Caleb. Mojave comes back. Nice body work. That's it. Yeah, Caleb's definitely having his, mo his best success so far this fight here in the latter rounds of round two. Yeah, Muhammad looks to have slowed down a little bit. Oh, nice, nice body, body shot. Work. He's landed about four of those body shots so far in this round. 
And, and that is what coaches are for, um, is, is not only to help you through the fight, but to, to see and to get you back where you need to be in the fight. I guess my best analogy is like, I'm like a full-time dad. So when I step on a Lego at home, I just start yelling at my kids. I just, I see red, all my skills go away and I just start yelling. I, I think that's the same. That's kind of, I, it's kind of a coach <laughs> coaching him through. Oh, just shooting snot yeah. out right in the middle of the fight. That's gross. Great head movement yeah. right there by Caleb. In and out, up and down. Muhammad looks tired. Oh, nice stuff. counter there by Caleb. And I'll tell you why. It's Caleb is, is staying tight, and he's, he's not putting so much emphasis on his shots. Right. Muhammad's throwing home runs every single time. And that's what, look at him. He's, he's wearing down. He's got to stay light. And yes, he's got big shots. And yes, if one of those lands, it could potentially put him down. Right. And it, like you said, it's bigger movements. It's more movements. Caleb's really technical, very small, inc inc inclement movements, and then boom. It's, it's energy efficiency, I think, is the best way to put it. He's just really efficient right now, or more efficient in his energy than Muhammad is. And it's the body shots to me that I think is what's really slowing down Muhammad. And if you watch, he's landing these sneaky little body shots. Yeah, nice beautiful shot. exchange by both men are throwing. Ten seconds left. Nice head movement. But those wow. are good shots landed by Muhammad at the end of that round. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge number one scored about 29-28. Judge number two scores about 29-28. And judge number three scores about 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. From the blue corner, Caleb Hall.